thank you to Notion for sponsoring this video. As students, it is important for us to organize our tasks so that we don't fall behind. But where do I start? As you may all know, Notion is an all-in-one workplace that blends everyday tasks into one. The first thing we have to start with is our Notion homepage. Personally, I like to keep mine minimalist and practical. I only have here an embedded playlist, a code, some cute Mofasan pictures, a widget countdown to prelims, and some databases that are important to me to track on a daily basis. Over here, I have a database for my schoolworks, and I use this to keep track of all of my assignments, deadlines, and my class activities. This database allows me to see all of my tasks and keep track of them. All I have to do is just add the name of the task, specify what class it's for, add a due date, and add what kind of task it is. This database allows me to see all of my upcoming assignments along with their due dates and it helps me know what to prioritize first. And I can even set reminders so I never miss a deadline with any of my schoolworks. Next, I have a dedicated page for all of my schoolworks. I put here all of my course content. Uh, I also have a database for my tasks and I have a class schedule here. Honestly, without Notion, I think my student life would be a real big mess. And I've been using Notion for around three years now, and I could really say that it is very effective in keeping track of all of our tasks as students. You can also edit the pages itself by changing its font, its size, and if you want it to be full width. Notion also houses a lot of templates for anything that you'll need. And you can see me here looking for a class schedule maker and I'll be using this template to make my own class schedule. If you don't know how to start any of your pages, you can just explore these templates and start from there. And once you've got that template laid out, you can now customize it and make it your own cozy home page. The next page I want to build from scratch is my productivity hub and I want this page to further boost my productivity so I'm putting all of my one-stop school things, a database and also some to-do lists on the side. As you can see, it's really easy to build your own page from scratch. All you have to do is just hit the slash button and you can see a lot of functions there for you. I just categorize each side with headings and to make it look more aesthetic. Here I am also embedding all of my pages that are related to my academic works so I could just easily click them and access them immediately. Since this page aims to boost my productivity, I am also adding some motivational quotes to help me keep going. The next thing that I'm doing is also embedding a Spotify playlist on the side so I can easily just play it whenever I want to study. You can also add customizable and cute widgets on Notion just by embedding any of the links you find on third-party apps on the internet. As a student, it is also helpful for me to keep track of all of my expenses. And I don't really know where to start on my page for that, so I'm making use of a Notion template to help you guys see that you can also make use of their free templates. As a freshman in college who also does YouTube on the side, it is very hard to keep track of everything and it can get very overwhelming. That's why I'm also sharing how I make my weekly agenda on Notion to balance all of these tasks that I have to do within a week. First things first, I like to add five columns to represent each day of the week. I usually only just put Mondays to Fridays to make sure that I have Saturday and Sunday as my rest days. And I also add pictures to make it look more fun and today I chose to go for a blue theme. 
as you guys can probably already tell, I like to make all of my pages efficient and to help boost my productivity. But I also want to make them unique and customizable to what I want and what I want my Notion page to look like. And if you guys are feeling lost on where to start, you can always just check Notion's free templates or you can also check YouTube tutorials and Pinterest templates. Here you can see a database where I put all of my tasks and I categorized it into my life, my schoolworks, and my content creation tasks. And that's it for my weekly agenda page and you can see how easy it is to make your own page from scratch. But don't you worry guys, if you're kind of lost, you can also just check the templates. As I've said before, they have a lot of templates and some are even cuter than mine. But you know, you can just create your own, customize it, and make it however you want it to be because Notion is that flexible when it comes to making your own pages. to list down and keep track and organize all of her tasks, it is also important for me to have a page dedicated for the goals I want to achieve within the year. And as you can see, I kept it very minimal and I don't really put a lot of goals. I just put all of those things that I really know that I can achieve within a year. If you guys didn't already know, Notion isn't just a productivity tool that helps us organize and keep track of our tasks, but it is now also AI powered. Not only can you help build your own homepage from scratch with Notion AI, but it can also be your personal study assistant. Here you can see me making use of Notion's own Cornell Notes template and I'll be making use of Notion AI to help me write my own notes for Java Basics programming. It's very easy to use Notion AI. All you have to do is just hit the space button and you can generate any kind of task you want Notion AI to do for you. Now that we've almost reached the end of this video, and if you still don't know where to start or you're still confused on how to start your own Notion, here are some student templates that I think are very helpful for students like me, whether you're in high school, college, and here are some cute templates that I found and these are all for free. And Notion also has paid templates, but I suggest you guys look at those free ones because they're also really cute and they're really effective in organizing all of our work. And this doesn't just apply for new Notion users. Old Notion users like myself can also check Pinterest and YouTube tutorials for other template inspirations. And this helps us in finding the template that best suits our own needs and our own aesthetic. Finally, here is my Notion tour. I want to start off by saying that these pages have been tailored to suit my personal needs and they've worked really well for me as a student. However, everyone's workflow is different, so what works for me might not work for you. And I encourage you to explore Notion's extensive features and customize them to best suit your own needs, whether as a student, a professional, or maybe somewhere in between. Most, if not all, of Notion's features are for free, but if you're looking for even more functionality, you can also check out these options, such as Notion's AI Student Promo, which is available for $5 a month or $48 a year for unlimited AI with the Education Plus plan. Or you can also opt for the Education Plus plan. This is free for all students with an educational email. And lastly, you can also opt for the Student Org plan, which is a free multiplayer plus plan for student organizations, but application is required for this plan. Again, thank you so so much to Notion for sponsoring this video, and if any of you guys are interested in any of the templates, I will list them down in the description box below.